back. Today, we continue through element six of your life book. We are going to be reviewing pages 154 to 157, phases of weight management. So I said yesterday, who knew? Okay. So in, um, in this book, Dr. A actually talks about how he has a whole section in here, um, 2.8, which actually goes through in great detail about the four different phases. Okay. So where he starts with is, um, you're being overweight or obese. That's not a phase. That's just kind of a fact of, of where you are. Phases, the phases are one is the weight loss. The second one is being at a healthy weight, but then it actually goes into phase three is optimization. And notice it's not maintenance optimization because we're never going to maintain. We always want to optimize. And then the fourth phase is longevity. Okay. He actually talks about having three different measurements to assess your current phase, right? Because sometimes we're like, I got it. I know. So he says, well, let's just confirm. Okay. So the first one he talks about is the BMI, right? Or the body mass index. So people have their like, eh, I don't think that's right or whatever, but this is actually based in science. And they came up with this because um, of a lot of different studies and they actually, it's simple, right? So they chose this as simplicity. So, um, but this, when it's combined with your waist circumference, it actually provides an accurate assessment of whether you're really at a healthy weight. So I'm just going to show this to you real quick. So this is, it's in here, it's small. Okay. Um, but that is a copy of uh, the BMI chart. Um, you can get it online. You can just Google um, BMI charts and you'll be able to put in your information to find out from that aspect where you are. So the second aspect I just mentioned, the second way to, um, to see if you're at a healthy uh, weight is actually the waist circumference, right? And this actually allows us to evaluate the, the visceral fat or the organ fat that's accumulated, right? And it's a good indicator because um, if you have that extra fat that's there around the, around the middle, okay, that can pose a health challenge. So Dr. A um, actually gives us some information on page 156 about to make sure we're measuring correctly. And I'll show you this little picture here, okay? So he shows us a picture, but I cracked up because the, the last bullet point actually says to measure, measure your waist after you breathe out. So for all of us who wanna go, okay, take the measurement. <laughs> That's, that's actually not correct. Okay. So breathe out and then take the, then take it. Okay. The third way, and he says this one's optional, but this is, um, the, based on your body fat. So tracking the body fat is, is just that third source of measurement that can assess really where you are in weight management. It actually also helps us determine if you're losing fat versus muscle. All right. So all of the habits of health programs are designed to actually minimize muscle loss. All right. So, which is super important. So in phase two, three, and four, your body composition actually becomes more important, right? Because we want to make sure that you're building muscle and not just adding the fat. All right. So, um, this on page 157 actually, um, has this little chart once again, too small to read, but it actually goes through, this actually does differentiate between male and female and the chart itself has, you know, fatness, which that title made me chuckle, but it's under fat, normal, over fat or obese. Okay. And then it actually breaks the body fat percentage down on an age group, 20 to 39, 40 to 59, or in 60 to 79, just to kind of get an idea where you are on this, on this. You actually, you can get different scans to show um, where you are. But once again, this is just a, the optional one, but the BMI and the waist circumference, those are two that'll really help you determine what phase you're in. So that's it for today, yay. So tomorrow I'm actually gonna help you determine which phase you are currently in. So until tomorrow, please feel free, like, comment, share the post, hop on over to the YouTube channel. Tomorrow.